So this is, in my opinion, that the sector will still play an even bigger role than what it's playing now. Hello and welcome back to the Bankers Masterclass series on Egypt's reform agenda in association with Arab African International Bank. I'm James King, the Bankers Africa and Middle East editor, and with me is Hassan Abdullah, Chief Executive of Arab African International Bank. In this next chapter, we will be discussing the outlook for Egypt's banking sector and the push to service the country's SMEs. Uh, Hassan, the banker has just recently published its ranking of the top 1,000 world banks and in that ranking we saw really strong gains and movements from Egyptian banks. So we saw improvements to their profitability, to their uh, capital positions, even strong asset growth. Um, looking at Egypt's banking sector today from your vantage point, uh, how would you rate, I guess, the health of the sector as a whole? The banking sector in Egypt has been one of the main sectors that is well regulated and organized and has human resources uh, who are skilled and mainly that's because the sector even 100 years ago was open to competition. It has never been a closed sector where you don't have foreign banks or you don't have exporter to the world. So it's always state of the art. Uh, and we're always competing with the, with the major banks worldwide. So uh, the sector is also, uh, in terms of financial indicators, showing health in terms of capital adequacy, in terms of regulations, uh, complying to regulations, international and local, and in terms of uh, liquidity. And it has proven uh, in several crises, like 2008, the sector has weathered it very smoothly, as well as the incidents of 2011. Uh, so we're quite confident that this, and the sector has more to do as well. Well, this is interesting because Egypt's banks have really played a, a sort of an understated role in, in anchoring the economy through some very challenging times you know, over the last few decades. Do you see the role that Egypt's banks um, are playing now in terms of the reform program, in terms of pushing the economy forward as being equally equally vital? I honestly believe since we are, in my opinion, uh, one of the most organized and uh, uh, strong sectors, that we should extend our uh, normal work into uh, new uh, venues whereby we can assist in the growth of the country. Of course, that's not our, our initial mandate. However, we have learned to combine them. So when you go to the middle market, you are doing both. When you talk about financial inclusion, you're doing both. When you create a microfinance, you're doing both. So uh, this is, in my opinion, that the sector will still play an even bigger role than what it's playing now. Okay, because obviously uh, an important uh, function of the banking sector's role is to really support SMEs, which is vitally uh, important in Egypt. Um, and I know there are some uh, lending requirements uh, and targets in place for, for SME lending. Um, do you think the banks have or are doing enough right now to support SMEs in Egypt? I believe that the, uh, some of the banks are ahead of others. Some of them are doing enough, others are not. But what's important about this is the mindset and the infrastructure. What I can confidently tell you that most of the banks in Egypt now have the infrastructure and the mindset to cater for these uh, uh, segments. Prior to this initiative, this was not even in the mind of at least 50% of the banks. Because so it's been a real change there as a result. A change. And it's going to pay off. Maybe it's going to take a little bit longer, but it's going to show, like, hopefully. It started showing. But I think it's going to have an impact, uh, uh, a much bigger impact soon. Okay, and, and coming to AAIB now, I mean, the last few years uh, in particular have been very, very strong for the bank. Um, record profits in some cases, um, the best performing profits in terms of the sector as a whole in certain years. Could you talk me through, I guess, um, the way in which your approach to the Egyptian market has informed uh, those results? We've, we've always been uh, focusing on uh, our human resources, which is, I believe, all institutions are doing, 
as well as having synergies to uh, 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 better serve our clients. Uh, we, we have been specialized and more focused all through the last years to having full solutions and mainly for uh, investments coming into Egypt. We have niched ourselves as uh, the strongest investment banking department in traditional banking and we, uh, we, we are able to combine the investment banking of course with the corporate finance with the uh, 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 to package deals and to do m and as and we, we at the same time we have been in increasing our exposure through building subsidiaries asset management uh, uh, mortgage finance leasing so we can combine a good solution for our customers okay Hassan, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you, James. Thank you.